you are searching for inspiration in the classroom, why not take a look at the Institution of Chemical Engineers Top 10 Flashbang Demos. Produced as part of the Why Not Commenge campaign, they show that demonstrations can be fun, safe and relevant. They might even help enthuse your students to become the scientists and chemical engineers of the future. Coming in at number four, we have the Screaming Jelly Babies. For this demonstration, you will need Jelly Babies, a Spatula, Tongs, 7 grams of potassium chlorate, Bunsen burner, protective face shield, two safety screens, clamp stand, and a heat proof mat. This demonstration involves putting a jelly baby into molten potassium chlorate. First, scoop 7 grams of potassium chlorate into a boiling tube. Don't be tempted to use more than this. This is the amount recommended by the National Science Learning Centre. Put the boiling tube into the clamp stand as shown at a 45 degree angle pointing towards the safety screen. You will need a protective face shield for this demonstration. Light the Bunsen burner. Ensuring that you have a safety flame first and then turning round to a roaring flame. The reaction you will see is the oxidation of the sugar in the jelly baby by potassium chlorate, a powerful oxidising agent. Do not attempt to use sugar instead of the jelly baby as this may cause an explosion. You will need to ensure that the potassium chlorate is completely molten for this experiment and it may take some time. Take the jelly baby. You may need to squash it a little bit to ensure that it fits in the boiling tube. Hold it with the tongs and drop into the boiling tube. The demonstration will produce a lot of smoke but you do not need to do this in a fume cupboard because it will damage the fume cupboard and the smoke is only the sugar from the jelly baby burning so it's not toxic. A well ventilated room is fine. If you are lucky the jelly baby will scream. Sometimes it will just make a noise that sounds like it's drowning. 